guys good morning what's going on i am currently in carniforn which is a city in wales and i'm in wales because visit britain actually invited me to come to wales and cumbria for the week to explore all the film locations for the movie king arthur that's coming out in may so i am super excited to be here i'm gonna do another vlog of king arthur film locations but i also wanted to take you guys on my day with me today because it's gonna be a day full of extremes, which I love. Here's the view from my hotel room. I'm in the back building, but I'm gonna go try it and get breakfast. Um, I never can make breakfast in the morning because I just can't get myself up in time. But I'm gonna go with like 15 minutes and see what I can scrounge up. So this is the exterior of the hotel, guys. <laughs> Pretty darn cute. I just got a quick breakfast, some beans, some scrambled eggs, and some tomatoes. I'm usually never up this early, so it's really nice walking the streets with literally no one in sight and they're just such quaint streets you know you have cobblestone floor and then you have multicolored buildings it's just really really beautiful so every building right here is a different color and then at the end of the street no big deal it's just a real live castle built by edward the first yeah that's what i find in my hometown as well So the day of extremes is starting with the longest in Europe and the fastest zip line in the world. I am so stoked to try this. I've zip lined once in Hawaii. It's gonna be nothing compared to this. This one, we're gonna be like Superman flying and it's gonna be good. right now which is a baby zip to kind of like prepare us for the one to come have fun thank you okay you three two one Woo! yeah what we just did was the little zipper and now we're doing the big zip speeds over a hundred miles per hour so I am super down. Bistro Hebog. Da, 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 da. The lunch right now. So we got a spinach and ricotta tortellini with some garlic bread. Very Welsh, huh? Not. These are traditional Welsh cakes with raisins. So the story of the town we're in is actually really tragic. Apparently, one day, Welsh Prince Llewellyn the Great went hunting without his faithful hound. Upon return, the prince saw that his infant's cot was empty and that blood was covering the floor. He saw his dog and his dog had blood all over him, so the father killed the dog. And then later in the day, Llewellyn discovered his baby next to the body of a dead wolf. The dog had tried to save the baby by killing the wolf, and the father misread that and thought that it was killing the baby. And he had already killed the dog. Very sad story. The town is named after the dog. Gallop. So there's some slightly good news in this awful, tragic story. Apparently, the baby did survive. Um, so it's kind of even sadder that the dog died, but at least he protected the baby.
It was pretty much a war zone. There were lots of uh, little border skirmishes between Scotland and England for right. control of this area because, well, both kingdoms had claim over this territory um, yeah. at one time. And they kept going back and forth, back and forth between two different kings. Okay. Tonight we are staying in a castle that's been lived in continuously since the Normans built it. I can't even put it into words how spectacular it is because it's just the most authentic thing I've ever actually seen. I just wanted to walk you through some of the castle rooms. Apparently, this armor right here is a replica of the most expensive armor in the entire world, which is housed in the Met in New York right now. And so Mr. Nightingale, who's the owner of this place, had a replica made of the armor. And this is it right here. Another really cool thing about this place, these are all, the floorboards are really creaky. Uh, all of the pictures of the people are people who have lived here. And then the house crest started off, they only had four of those little gold balls at the top. And so that meant that they were dukes. So if we go along, then you can see at a certain point, they have five balls on top of the crest. And that meant that they had gone up a level in hierarchy to earls, which I thought was pretty unique and interesting. And then just show you outside the window, besides the car, just how beautiful the grounds are here. Two really cool things in this window are this old school globe and manuscripts that are here from the 1500s, 1600s. What does this one say? Rollins Ancient History. Then we have Gibbons Roman Empire. This is very secret garden, and I'm coming down here because I want to show you something that I thought was equally creepy and equally cool. So, all of these trees that are aligned along this pathway each have a different face in them. And we had to guess how many faces, so I'm gonna show you guys some of the faces. So on this tree, whoa, mind blown. Like what? Okay, and as we stroll along, that one's slightly more normal. But some of them, I think, is it this one? Oh yeah, I liked this one. Like, that's a good one. It's a really beautiful pathway, obviously surrounded by trees. And then out yonder, you can see a river, which is the, what's protecting the castle, and then the town of Appleby, which is right alongside that river. And then right here is the oldest entrance to the castle. So I just got into my room at Appleby Castle and I wanted to show you guys, it is dark outside but the place is really cool. I wanted you guys to just see what it's like before I mess up the bed. <laughs> okay, so as you walk in, big four poster bed. I'm just gonna come around here so you can kind of see the whole thing. Just like massive four poster bed. Over here we have some chairs. A random sink in the middle, but you know, it's eclectic. Um, more tapestries. And then we have this armoire. Armoire? I don't know. Um, it's very grand, but in a medieval type way. And then the bathroom is definitely uh, more modern than the rest. But I just think it's super cool to have this medieval castle-like place to stay. I've never seen a castle like this. I've only gone to museums and seen it that way. So I'm very excited to stay here tonight. From supermanning down the fastest zip line in the world to visiting an extremely tragically named but beautiful town and staying at an extreme form of hotel this evening, I am very exhausted. 
So I'm going to end the vlog here for tonight. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me on my day of extremes. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon.